go sound. I'm gonna just go for it. Why not? They're already in match. Uh, this one is the equalizer set. Well, yes, it is. Gain is all the way up. Check my headphones. Test one, two. All right, and uh, let's start streaming. All right. Little late into this, we don't have any of the cameras up and running, so I don't think we'll run the cameras unless it's magically already set up. We'll figure it out in a second here. But welcome back to NSCC Thunder. We're mid match right now versus Ambrose University. We got NSCC Thunder's first player is playing Ike versus Pokemon Trainer playing for Ambrose University. Ike's at 165%, two stocks left on each of the characters. Ike throwing out the up B Aether, trying to get as much damage as does, but that will kill. That's a down throw from Pokemon Trainer Charizard form. And now it's 2-1, favoring Ambrose University. And the up air, up B with the Ivy Sword does catch. As you can see, you got the scores up there. It's Ambrose at 11 stocks. And Thunder at 9. Buzzlink is the Ambrose University versus Thunder, which is the Thunder. Looks like PS2. He's switching to Ivysaur, switching back to to him. So he spawns as Squirtle. And here we go. The taunt, the start. And now we're going. Squirtle jumps in, shields immediately. Squirtle has some very interesting hitboxes, but die, does die at low percents being very light. First time chat viewer, I lack sanity. Does NSCC have an Overwatch team? This semester, no. We have had one in the past. If that's something you're interested in, we're always interested in getting new teams for people. So if you're interested, that would be something we can definitely look into getting. Right now, it's just mainly Smash Ultimate and Valorant. And speaking of Smash, looks like there's already good combo strength going for this Squirtle into Ivysaur Change. That change. Ivysaur Change pretty quickly. Usually a lot of Pokemon trainers like to stay as Squirtle as much as they can until they're at danger of dying. But DDD is a big hitter, so 60%, I would say about 85 is where you'd be a little dangerous. The Uppy gets almost punished, but he tried to milk a little bit of it with that up smash, and he was unable to. But the up air just being so big and powerful for Ivysaur, taking the first stock off of the DDD. So now it's 11-2-8, favoring Ambrose. The chainable up airs of Ivy. So we're looking for another one. Fast fall neutral air trying to get something started. This is Thunder. Uh, B's there. Gets a little bit. Gets punished for the grab into the neutral air. Drag down. Tried to finish him off the up B. Oh, that Gordo protecting him. There's the flare blitz. Punishable but not able to get there in time. Back air does not connect. He gets him with the thing into the Gordo, 116%. An up air might have finished it there, but he decided to go with the back air throw. Really trying to get the Gordo here. Up tilt does not hit. Charizard looking for something back to the Squirtle. Now Squirtle, very light, goes back to the Ivysaur. This is what's been doing the best right now for Ambrose. Down air not quite killing. You got to be careful. That hole above him is a danger area for Ivysaur. He's throwing the Razor Leafs, trying to get him to jump. And there's the neutral air. He's going to follow it up. There he is. Oh, he was able to get it with the neutral air, avoiding Ivysaur's up air. I saw it come out almost. There it is. He wants it. But the forward air connecting for NSCC, taking Ambrose's first player down to their last stock. Jordan, a.k.a. Thunder's player, is going to want to do his best to get as much percent on this Squirtle quickly without losing too much or taking too much himself. Trying to mash out it, and we're back to the Ivysaur. Really wants an up B chain. 
Really try and catch him again. Gets tries to go for the down. The aerials of Ivysaur, something you really have to watch out for in this matchup. Jordan doing a good job of trying to play around those after that first stock getting taken at low percent. The Razor Leaf forcing him to jump. Wants an up air. Gets him with the Gordo with the Razor Leaf. That might be the strat right now for this Pokemon player. Jordan might have to play around it. Gets hit with it. Tried to take him under the stage. And now we're down to 1-1 one, one stock on each of these players. Seven stocks, 210 right now. The Gordo gets a neutral air, almost gets him with the forward air. Up tilt, not quite connecting immediate shields. That shield's getting a little low on the Ivysaur. Ivysaur's such a hard name to commentate. There's neutral air. Now, DDD wants a Gordo setup. If he can get a Gordo, he can get followed up with the up air. Dash attack, a little punishable there. Would have killed had he not shielded it. And he wants a down air. Wow, the. Pokemon trainer, yeah, Charizard. Man, it's so hard to pick which name to call them right now. Really wanted to finish that one off. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm getting myself confused. Sorry about that. It's spring break mind right now, so we're playing over spring break here, and we're just having fun. But right now, oh, the down smash trying to read the tech roll, but now it's Jordan on the defensive, just trying to find that last good hit. There's a good forward air. If he was on the other side of the stage, it might have killed, but he hits him across now. There's another Gordo. He's shielding the Gordo. So he's looking for something. Misses the grab. Misses the up tilt. And there's the forward throw. He's really wanting something here. And Jordan almost gimping himself out of there. And that's a re-grab. He didn't time it right, so he's able to roll on just in time. He gets him. There it is. There's the up. He immediately Gordo killing. Not yet. It is not yet. That's just Gordo. He flare blitzes going the opposite direction. He just misses the, the suck in. That's a neutral B from Jordan there. And that does not. That goes through it. The flare blitz taking at 196%. Here we go. We got the Pokemon trainer has to kill themselves twice. And then NSCC Thunder's team member for Fox will be able to take it. There goes the Ivy Sword. He's going to switch back over to Charizard. So he spawns in and then he'll spawn back in as Squirtle, the original start. And here we go. The taunt to begin it. NCC Thunder with six stocks left to Ambrose's 10. Neutral is trying to get something going for Sean. There he gets a good forward throw. Tries to follow it up with neutral yeah, with a dash attack, but it was shielded. Now, Squirtle, this is a... Uh, we haven't seen this uh, Pokemon player Squirtle very much. Usually around 60-65%. They like to switch out of it and switch to the Ivysaur. But this could be the battle of the speed and the light characters. Both these characters very light. Looking for some early kills. Squirtle's main mission here is just to get percent and kill as much. There it is. Switching to the Ivysaur. Looking for some of those kill confirms. Wants to get you to jump with the Razor Leaf. And catch you with an up B or an aerial. See the down air there? That does spike. There's the big forward air. Tried to get him with the up B. The up B does track, kind of like Byleth. You have to be careful of it. Very knowledgeable. Onto the platform. Grab. If back throw. That kills. Okay. Maybe that's a DI mix up there. And now Thunder down to stock. So the down throw. Almost got him with the up air. Did not quite connect. Good rapid jab to get him out of any follow-up combo. There's the Razor Leaf. Tried to get a grab. Good neutral get up there. Well, sorry, it was a tech get up. The frame one reflect there. You barely saw the reflect out there. Ivysaur tether recovery. Not the easiest to two frame. He's looking for something. There's the Razor Leaf. An up smash might kill at this point. He's just got to find an area to get in. There's the falling forward air using those platforms. Reflexes the Razor Leaf. He's going to shield when he hits the ground, so back throw. We're not killing quite yet. He's got to jump. Up, he's around, and gets hit with the spike. Man, Pokemon Trainer just saying no. There's a good grab for throw. Down tilt, not able to hit him. He's still at just enough eye frames. There's a forward smash. That was a good spacing there. And Sean does take the stock from Ambrose. Byla for Ambrose, Fox for Thunder. 4-9 to nine right now, favoring Ambrose University. Hey, Sean, you got to kill yourself. Sean. It's okay, Sean. Just go jump off. Jump off twice. Well.
All right, 36% to 5%, now 24%. It's 9 to 4. And wow. Wow. That was quick. And here we go, the final player for NSCC Thunder B team. Playing Bila, trying to get the forward smash. And the Bila catches the up B. Carl trying to get the down smash working, not able to connect. Misses the down air, tries to get a forward air. There's a neutral air into the forward smash, not connecting. But landing on stage, man, this is hard to commentate dittos here. Dash attack from Byleth 1. Reads the roll. It gets him with the 71% now. Thunder misses the up smash. That would have killed potentially, but the good use of the Carl there. Waiting out the air dodge. Almost mistimed the up air. Oh, really goes for it. Goes for the down air. Misses the down smash. It's hit with the dash attack. Drop off forward air. Byleth able to ledge guard easily and down to the final two stocks for Thunder. Misses the forward smash. Gets hit with the neutral air. Neutral air back in return. Side B not quite connecting. Down air doesn't quite connect. Forward smash still not connect. Just wants the neutral airs into a back air. There's another neutral air. Back on stage. Misses the grab. That could have been something Conversion Thunder was looking for. Up B not connecting. There's another neutral air. Off stage has a jump. Is Byleth though. Gets caught. No tech, but able to recover just because of Yoshi's and up smash killing. It was good DI by Ambrose, but does take the kill. So 7 2 right now. Byleth v Byleth. And Byleth takes a hit. I could say this the whole game, and I could be right either way. Byleth takes a hit, and a Byleth dies because there's both Byleth, but now Thunder down onto their last stock with that smash attack. There's a forward throw into forward air. That's a bread and butter for Byleth there. Reads the get up attack, tried to fall into the back air, did not land it. That's why they wanted Yoshi's that high top platform. They're looking for an up B to up air conversion to end it, I'm pretty sure. Air dodging, but Byleth with the tether recovery, able to get back. There it is, tech it, and no tech, and that will be the match. 7-0, to zero, favoring Ambrose University. And then that was it.